Hey everybody, happy Thursday and welcome to our Facebook Live today. Lots and lots of stuff to do, so it's very exciting. Um, today we're going to be, let me just make sure I muted. <laughs> uh, I did my do not disturb. I'm, I think I'm in good shape today. So uh, I'm not sure who is here. They want me to go on a wide screen. Oh, hello, Teresa. How are you? Yeah, so um, what we're going to do today is all month on the blog, we've been working with, uh, we will be working with uh, the Crafters Workshop, also known as TCW. Hey, Mitziana, Karen Gartland, how are you? Frederica, good to see you. Uh, so I, and there's Charlotta. Hello. Hi, Diana. So I've got a giant box, which I just arranged in rainbow color order. It's so pretty um, that I got when I was up at Crafters Workshop. And we have a video that I did of their new um, space, their new warehouse, which is really cool. So, uh, hey, Angie. So I'm going to show you that in a minute, but I just want to go through a couple things while we're waiting for everybody to get on. Hey, Laura Keenbaum, good to see you. Joellen, I just got a message from Laura, the other Michigan Laura, whose car broke down and she said the engine went. Bad news. Hey, Katharina. Hi, Jean. So um, let me just go ahead with these announcements. It's upcoming events, so I just want you to get them on the calendar and... Uh, so, okay, this is very exciting. Next Tuesday, we're going to have Rebecca Meyer with us. Hey, Lisa and Melanie. Uh, so she will be on screen with me. Actually, she's going to be doing the crafting. I talked to her yesterday. She doesn't know this yet. But <laughs> I was saying, let's craft together. And then I thought, why? You guys see me do it all the time. So I'm going to ask Rebecca to share her products and tips. She's also a designer with the, cre uh, the Crafters Workshop. So she'll be using her stencils and some really cool techniques. Techniques. She is award-winning. She is amazing. So we'll see Rebecca Meyer next Tuesday, which is the 26th. So I'm going to put up a post that has all these things because you'll never remember. And I won't remember. <laughs> I need to be there. Okay. The next thing is I am headed out to Tennessee. I'm going to Scrappin' in the City. It's in Knoxville. And that's going to be November uh, 5th and 6th. I'm going to be teaching classes. So if you live anywhere nearby, Ohio, Kentucky, it's kind of right in the corner of a lot of states. Hey, Taylor. So, um... Make sure you keep your eyes out for the announcement for that, and you can sign up to come take an in-person class. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, yes. Hi, everyone new. <laughs> uh, let's see. Number three, we have a very, very exciting event, and we had a Facebook um, a meeting today online with 10 very creative people from Sizzix that we are going to be doing an event on November 10th, and it's going to be called Eileen's Tailgate Party. And we are going to be creating with a certain die. And you will be invited to create along with us. So stay tuned for more information on that. Yes, Taylor. Taylor is going to be our chat person. Even though Taylor got me into this. Because Taylor and I were talking one night. Hey, Cheryl. And uh, we're like, you know, I said, Taylor, you need to come on Facebook Live with me sometime. She's like, oh, no, no, I couldn't do that. I blah, 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 blah. She is our sales manager for Sizzix. So she is quite, quite crafty. Anyway, somehow by the end of the call, we are going to do this event, <laughs> which is big. So uh, I hope you'll come along. Let me just tell you, the die that you're going to want is the truck. So, oh, hi, Laura's husband, Paul. Good to meet you. Hey, Orla and Joellen. Rebecca, yeah. Hey, I'm looking forward to having you on next Tuesday. All right, we got a lot going on, guys. As we get into the holidays, things are opening up. We all need a little place to escape. So come on over here, and we have lots going on, okay? And there was one more thing. Um, I'm doing a... Last year, I don't know if you remember, we did Ornamentally Yours. That's with Lindsay Ostrom, good friend of mine. So I'm going to be part of that, and I'll be doing an ornament. So come on over and uh, join us there. That's going to be on November 13th and 14th, I think. I'll, I'll post this all up, guys. 
but uh, yeah, there's lots in the works and it's really, really cool. So um, I just wanted to show you a couple things before we get going. One of them was, and I don't know if you've been watching on the blog, but all week, all month, we're going to be uh, working with the Crafters Workshop and um, she had made a couple things and posted them but she used the notepad die. I just wanted to show you guys because it doesn't really, you know, you, I mean, you can see it and it did get a very good response, but she made out of the notepad die, which is not available yet, but Taylor, can you tell us when it might be? It's a chapstick case. I mean, is that not the cutest thing? And you can store five chapsticks at a time, your favorite flavors, and then... She took it and went even further and did this adorable little like shadow box, um, like a flower case. Hi, Helen. I know this is really amazing. She's got my brain going. And so today we went to the dollar store and I wanted to tell you, I found a couple things that you might want to keep an eye out for. Just saying, I'm sorry for those that don't have dollar stores. I really am. But um, these are the little jars that she used in here, and they will fit. And the thing that was genius, one of the many genius things, is she used the little tabs that come on the die, and she just folded them around to make these little compartments. Yes, I remember them, Lisa. Yeah. So you can make these in any theme. She has a lot of other ideas, too. So just so you know, keep an eye out for the little glass jars. Also, I was in Target... And I found these little um, Christmas trees that I thought were really cute. And I think they would fit in there too. So I want her to do a video with all of this. Um... Yeah, that's a good idea, Mitziana. Uh, I would like Susie to come on. So maybe you could convince her. I don't want her to get mad at me though. <laughs> I keep bugging her. And these were also cute, these little wreaths, which I thought would be, I plan on putting on the front of a truck. So that, those were Target and they're, these were three for a dollar and these were four for a dollar. So, you know, what can I say? That's the normal price. <laughs> okay, here is, while we're at it, here is another really cute card by Susie. She used the folder and this is the cutout of another project that she was doing. She wanted the cutout and then she realized, you know, on that die, you have a little square next to it. So she used it right there, which I said, you are on a roll. Then we went over to Joanne Fabrics where they had, and I don't know if you guys know this, I put it in my stories, but they had free, um, they had little grandma's cookies, like oatmeal raisin and chocolate chip cookies little packs of them for free, and also hot chocolate and coffee. So what we're thinking is we need to have a, a, a meetup there because there's whole tables and everything where you can just go sit there and chat. Oh, you found them. Okay, Kathleen. Yeah. So anyway, lots going on here. Um, the dyes that I'm going to use today, it's just kind of a practice. I'm mostly going to use the Crafters Workshop products and take a look at them in one second. And we have Cheryl Baglioli here in the chat, and she is uh, in charge of the team there. So if you have any questions about Crafters Workshop products, where to get them, just ask her and she can send, give, post the links, okay? So this is the die, and I'm not sure when it's coming in. How to thread to it. Elastic goes over the edge. Oh, cool, Gail. I'll have to look. Okay, so this is... Oh, good. Okay, Hazel, that's good. I'm glad you guys have some kind of equivalent. Candy, that is my question. I'm not sure. Um, Taylor, do you know when the, um, the full-size journal and the little notepad are coming back in? Because I'm not sure. I thought it was going to be this week, but maybe not. Okay. Um, the other die is, and I think I'm going to save this because I, I have an idea of what I'm going to do with this, but I'm not going to do it this show. There's too, too much going on. But this is the die that I am going to do my, my crafter's workshop on because it's so big. You'll check right now. Look at her. She's on the ball. Okay. Thank you, Taylor. So I have gone ahead and I cut out my two covers 
All right, and this is what we're gonna use today. I think I'm gonna chop one little section off. And I realized how much I like this black mat board because actually you can use this side or you can use the white. So I'm gonna, I'm looking for another supplier for this mat board. So as soon as I get it, I will be posting more because I sold out of the first, first batch really quickly. So anyway, I think what I'm going to do is turn the camera down and show you this amazing collection of stuff that I have from, not stuff, I shouldn't call it stuff, beautiful products. All right, yes, Cheryl is, <laughs> I've known Cheryl for quite a while. We um, actually went on a trip together, several of them, in our trailers because she and I both have our camping trailers and she's a lot better at it than I am but uh, we've had a lot of good times together so let me just get this up on the screen here and we can get going with our stuff here our fun fun products okay so let's start um Cheryl maybe you can um Glinda Mrs. Scotty aww <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. Look at all these goodies. I got to tell you, I went to Jamie's new warehouse just to see her because she lives 10 miles from my mom in New York. So I have been going to when she had a store. I was going there like 30 years ago. I was in her store. So she just recently moved out of there and into this beautiful new warehouse. So I said, you know, maybe I could come and see it. So I went over and she started a box for me and is just throwing all this stuff in there. And she's like, take whatever you want, guys. I was like, are you crazy? You can't tell me to do that because I will. I want it all. I mean, look at these colors, guys. And it's called stencil butter. I mean, how could you not like that? So I think what we'll do is start with um, these watercolor powders and from what I understand I haven't opened anything yet I've been working on some other stuff but um, I definitely cannot wait to get into this so I think these are the things because uh, so this is done with Ken Oliver another friend of mine so it says um, place a stencil and watercolor spring paper sprinkle with color sparks powders spritz with water and then psh, you know you you open it up and or you pull it up and it's magic. So we'll do this on another show, but I have a whole collection of these, all different colors. And I mean, these last a while, they're powders. So they, you know, they're in this little tiny thing, but it, it holds a lot. So we will be playing with this soon. It's just started shipping, so it's available now. Okay, all right. So Taylor, you're gonna send me some, right? I hope. The, the uh, notepad and the the big one. Let's hope. Okay. Riches is right. Okay, thanks, Cheryl. Stencil butter. Now, what I was wondering, and some of you may be too, we have the modeling paste, we have gesso, and the stencil butter. And Cheryl, oh, it's on my way. Oh, good. Okay, guys, I will be getting it. So this is stencil butter, and Cheryl, can you tell us the difference? I'm going to tell you what I think because the gesso I would think would be almost a paint. I would probably, it seems pretty, let's look at it. It seems pretty thick. Oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, I would probably apply this with one of the, um, well, maybe a brush. All right, we got to play with this too. I was kind of thinking what I want to get into is the colored stuff here. So... Um, gesso is more liquidy from what I can, what I think. Tell us, Cheryl, if not. Um, yes, Bonnie, good. That's one email I don't have to send. <laughs> you heard it here. Okay, so the modeling paste, I think, is similar to the stencil butter. I have had, I have this myself, okay? Then we've got the modeling paste. Now, when I feel these, this is a lot denser. So this is probably thicker and more opaque opaque black color dense thick texture okay oh it says right on there how how clever of them jamie you're a genius uh yeah so the black gesso is more liquid okay so let's open one of these and just see what that looks like 
Oh, all right, we're gonna dig into some of these guys. And I'm thinking maybe kind of a rainbow idea. But they're, they come in this, and there's a shimmer to them. I don't know if you can see. Uh, anyone know if I can mix mica powders into gesso? Ooh. Oh, use a palette knife with modeling paste. Okay. All right, now we have this other stuff here. And these are smaller containers, but they look like the same kind of idea. And this is pretty heavy. So this is a modeling paste also. So that's just a heavier body. Is that? Okay. A little more flexible, but dies, dries quicker than standard modeling paste. Okay. All right. Poor Cheryl is typing her hands off here. Okay. So these are all modeling paste. So these come in platinum, white, copper penny, antique gold, Grecian gold, black, uh, no, that's gesso, black, and that's it, but there may be more. I didn't get everything in their place, even though I wanted to. Okay, um, yeah, because Jamie's like, I have a meeting, but just help yourself. I'm like, oh, no, don't do this to me. Okay, then we've got Tacky When Dry Gel Medium. We have Matte Gel Medium. Super Thick Gel, adds dimension, dries clear and shiny. We have hot foil gel and gloss gel. So we can we can get into some of this stuff later because it's a lot of typing for Cheryl. But we will be playing with this throughout the month and mixing that in with our Sizzix projects. So, you know, we're doing a collaboration. We're doing it on the blog and TCW is doing it on their blog. So come and um, check out both blogs and see what's happening there. Tacky when dry. Gel medium is great for foils. Okay, that's this one. Okay, so you spread it on, wait for it to get tacky, and then put your foil on and peel it off. That's what I'm assuming. Okay, and then these here, this is all the stencil butter. Champagne gold. This one is interesting. Pearl white, but it's like, I don't know if you can see if that comes through, but it's like a pearlescent. Oh, it's, look at that. Packed to the rim. Mm. But you probably could put color in there. So what I'm thinking is, I kind of, like I said, want to do a rainbow thing. Okay, correct with Tacky Wender Eye. You like it, Leslie? Try mixing the TCW Color Sparks with the stencil butter. Oh, man. Wow. Look at this color. What is that called? Crimson. Ugh, I love that kind of red. It's kind of... Well, this one's kind of pinkish. I like the tomato-y, but it, it's nice and bright. You know, it's not like a subdued red. That is a red. And this is really pretty. This is fuchsia. So, hey, Christy Sparks. Christy, I need your um, mailing address because I have a prize for you, okay? Can you message it to me? Oh. Now, you know I'm not a purple fan, but that looks yummy. All right, I didn't want to ruin them. So let's just take some mat board. And what I wanted to do was work on black. I wanted to see how this worked on black. So I am just gonna put this here and I have a couple little scrapers. You can use a credit card, you can use a piece of mat board, whatever you like. Oh, and I didn't show you the stencils. Now these were just some that I happened to grab. Okay, are butters usable on calico or cotton? I'm gonna love it on black, good. I thought so, because why Why wouldn't it? Now, the, the I think this is from a Re Rebecca Meyer. I got some of her new ones, isn't that one pretty? So maybe next week we will, now that one might be Jamie. So some are the Crafters Workshop and some are Rebecca's. Um, these are really cool backgrounds. I'll just put them like this and show them. These would be nice for the, um, I think these are designed for, what do you call those? I can admit that just doesn't come to mind. Uh, slimline, the slimline cards. Okay, but it also works on the cover of our journal. So what do you think about that? So there's a bunch of them. And when I got them, they weren't out yet, but they probably are by now. This one is so cool. The leaves. Could you see that in like the golds and like summer or, um, you know, those, these 
shimmery, metallic. Mm -mm. Okay, now here are some more, and I'm. This looks like Rebecca to me, and I was thinking that would be a fun one to use, but it's kind of summery. Not that that matters. This is more collagey. Could do that. So I'm trying to pick what I want to use in this for an, a sample. That's cute. I mean, all these little elements are neat. You could tape them off, you know. Cute little holly tree. This one is nice. That big, huge... I like that one, too. I was kind of thinking the leaves, but... Um, that's cool, like a buffalo check. Oh, uh, she... Okay. Hi, Allison. And this is a poinsettia. So, yeah, these are very cool. All right, so now I have to pick. This is hard. I love these, so I'm sure I'll use that as like a filler in at the sides. And you know what? Let's just do the butterflies. We can do more, too. All right, so let's practice first. So let's line up our rainbow colors, which let's do yellow, orange, red, green, gotta do aqua, and purple. What do you think? Mm, that looks good. All right, I'm gonna open them all up. I, you love I'm showing this? Wait, I'm gonna put the little thing behind it. Of course, I have a two inch workspace, as usual. Because, <laughs> let me put this over here. Okay, can you guys see okay? I'm gonna move it up a little. All right. Well, Leslie, I'm just kind of playing with it. I, I'm, see, you can see how pristine they are. <laughs> They're about to become unpristine. But, um, so what I was thinking was on my cover, let me move this. I was going to practice, but let's just do it. I mean, I can always cut another cover. I was thinking this would just be pretty either over here, and then you could put a date or some kind of other you know, this fill in, or maybe have them kind of flying, you know, like this. That might be pretty. Let's do that. All right, so I'm going to start with yellow, and I'm just going to use this for now. And I think my plan is I'm just going to start with the yellow up top here and then kind of go into the next couple colors, and let's see what happens, all right? I'm not sure how much I need. Oh, this does, it feels like whipped butter. I see how they got the name. I'm going to put it on the back here. It's just easier to spread it. That's probably too much because these are pretty detailed and I don't want to. Oh, the other thing that I was thinking was that maybe I would, let me tape this down. I've got some, um, this stuff here. Because I don't want it going under. It's really a detailed stencil. Oops, I just made a mess. That's all right. I'll wipe it off. All right. And I kind of want to fade it into the next color, the orange. It always reminds me of icing a cake so fun. And I don't care if the colors kind of run into each other. That's okay. I want them to. Let me get my towel here. My disgusting towel. So if you get it fast, you can wipe it off. And it's still wet, so hopefully it's going to mingle around a little bit. I always take too much, but... Alright, so let's kind of Mush this in together. And, you know, depending on how much you leave on here, that's how long it's going to take to dry. So think of that. And try not to run into the next, because I'm going to move this, which probably was not a good thing to do on a live, because I don't want to mess it up. But if it does, we'll figure out some way to fix it. 
Oh, look at that. Okay, I went a little bit. So maybe I, I probably went under the stencil. Um, let me see if I have baby wipes here. And let's just wipe this off. Let me get a piece of release paper. Because I don't want to... Yeah, it is very, very fine. This is probably... Uh, works better if you stencil with a brush and you know, but Just want to see what happens. I want to see these colors is what I'm really excited about And hopefully this is not dried out. I haven't used wipes in a while. Nope, we're good Look at how that's shining though. Do you see that how shimmery and I do know that you want to wipe these off or get them in water right away or this will dry on there and oh even these would be pretty. <laughs> I'm getting them all over. And down here. All right. I just don't want them to contaminate that. So maybe one more. Can you guys see okay? Press the stencil down on paper. Oh, I should have done that. All right. We'll do it next time. But look at this. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to do it on my mat board, on my practice. There might be something on there. Let's see. Let me press this on top of that. Ah! See, I am a menace. All right. Hi, Barbara. You're having trouble getting this. Oh, no. Okay, it's very faint, but there is some. But it's kind of pretty. That'd be a great background. Okay. So, on to the next. Let's just make sure this is not going to cause trouble here. I should have just done it in a line, I now realize. But why would I do it the easy way? Oh, good Lord. Okay. So, let's move this away. And just make sure that the back is dry. And so what if it's not? We'll make a background. All right, so this one is going to fly here, so it's out of the, that one's way. And let's put this down here. And I'm going to try a little harder to keep it flat this time. So this will be one of those videos where you say, don't do that. <laughs> All right, now I have a dilemma. I don't want to put the red and green next to each other. Maybe I'll do these two. You think? Or maybe I should do the pink. Yeah. Let's do the pink instead. Those two, I don't know. I love that red, but I think these would go together better. Look at how full they are. Gonna have a lot of fun with these. Look at how pretty. Alright, I'm gonna go a little less so I don't smush it. I could have put down some, like, pixie spray. I think on this one, I'm going to do half this way and half on the other side. You know, this is really like very zen ish. <laughs> it's not hard, it's just doing it. It's just fun. It's like a kid playing in Play Doh or something. And it doesn't have to be exactly half, but a little goes a long way. You can use your fingers. Well, let's try that. It's already pretty messy. Oh, yeah. I like that better, actually. You can't really feel, and I think you could get a lighter coat with your fingers and blending. Oh, good job, Cheryl. Thank you. Yeah, that's cool gonna be a mess anyway you know by the end of it easier to clean a little under and smooth over with the edge of knife a little under I don't think it got much all right you ready I might be getting better <gasps> look at that that one's perfect. All right, I might have to do another one and cover it up, but it would give it dimension. You know what I mean? This is going to be a beautiful cover. Use a little less. Okay, I should have read that first. Try not to go back and forth with circles. Okay. All right, I think I've got it, though, in my own 
way. I learn slowly but surely. All right, let's uh, let's wipe. Oh no, we want to press this on our. Let's move this out of the way. All right, this is our practice one. So let's see what happens when I press that down. Let me get a brayer here. Oh, this is fun. I kind of wish I had practiced first because I, <laughs> I like knowing what I'm doing. All right, that's kind of a relief. It did smush a little bit. I probably had too much o over here on the side, but I still am seeing a pattern and it's still kind of a smooshy background there. I like it. All right, let's clean this off. They are, the colors are amazing. And yeah, this black is crazy. Love it. Yeah, this is really fun. It's a good combination. See, that's pretty too. You, it's kind of faint, but it is a pretty background. So you could use it in two ways. I should have paper towels here to kind of wipe that off, but uh, I have everything else around here, but no paper towels. So we'll let it air dry for a minute. Okay, let's do the next one. Oh, my favorite colors. Uh, how can I do this without, yeah, okay, I'm going with the fingers, because really, that's the easiest way, all right, a little bit of this, so this one I did top and bottom, that I did side to side, I'm going to do kind of a diagonal here, So it is going to blend in, so I'm not worried if I go kind of outside the lines or whatever, because it did blend really nicely. Have you guys ever tried this? I kind of, I haven't tried the stencil butter. It is a different consistency than the, the paste that I've worked with in the past. <gasps> this color is amazing. Oh. Wow, so rich. Man. Oh yeah. This is really pretty. I don't want to contaminate. What an easy way to do a journal cover though. I mean, just cut it out of black and do a couple little things on it and you're good. Okay. All right, what do you think? <sighs> Can't wait to see this one. Oh, wow. That is, look at how rich that is. Isn't that amazing? You can also mix the stencil butters with the modeling paste for a thicker application, but it will soften the colors a tad unless you use it with our TCW clear modeling paste. Okay, that is beautiful. I wish I hadn't messed that up, but I think I can fix it if I do it again and just, you know, layer it on top. And I will also like the dimension. Okay, all right, so let's clean this one off on our scrap paper so that's something to know you want to keep a, a piece of like is that oh that's old um keep a piece of like scrap nearby that you can use to wipe off stuff on and maybe a brayer let's see Ooh, look at that. And let's see what came out here. 
I like that you can reuse it and it's not going to go to waste. And it, you know, again, it's kind of blobby, but cool because you can see that there is a pattern under there. So let me just wipe this one off. I'm on the wrong side here. And then I think I'm going to add some of the, the, um, that mandala doily. These are pretty. These things. I'm going to put this in water after. Ugh, I love it. Okay. So let's do this to kind of fill in some of the color or the space. And I'll probably put something. Hmm. If I were going to do a title, maybe in here, hmm, I think I'll do something down here. Hmm. What color to use? Uh, maybe the yellow. Maybe little patches of it. I should have something under here. I mean, you can do it really thin, and it's just kind of, I think it would just shimmer a lot. Yes, this looks like Rebecca's. I'm not sure. I, didn't, I looked for her name on it, and I didn't see it. I think I got it maybe before the release. I'm not sure. I don't know when it came out. Now this, you can see the difference between this and that. This is a lot thinner. So let's do that and see how that comes out compared to that. And let's do the orange. Uh, let's do let's do green. This is going to be a really pretty journal cover. Hopefully it comes off my table. All right, and let's do a little of this. Are you guys wishing you could be playing in the <laughs> in the paste with me? Yeah. See, when it goes, cl when I just do a very light uh, layer of it, I think let's let's keep doing that because you're gonna see that it it's just shining. What other color should I do here? Mm. Purple? This is, I mean, and you know, I'm not a big mixed media person, you guys know that, but this is very easy to use. <laughs> it's like finger painting, for heaven's sakes. Even I can do that. Yeah, this is cool. All right, let's see what this looks like. And I will be interested to know what happens here. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, man. I almost like that better. Because you get dimension, because you can see the dark and light. What do you guys think? <laughs> it is fun. What do you guys, you like this this better, this look, or that look? You can see it, it doesn't matter. I mean, they're both good, you know? Wow. And the blending even inside. Can you guys see that okay? Yeah. It is amazing. Ah. All right. This. All right. Do you think I need some more maybe? <laughs> I don't want to stop. Uh, maybe I could do something up here, and then I would just do like a title or a, some kind of focal thing there. And then we can just use the colors that we didn't use. So what do we not use? Pink. Well, let's do that over here. 
So you can, it's easier to control. You can spread it out more if you just put, if you do use your fingers. I like it a lot better. Uh, this I'm going to do maybe a little bit thicker just because, why not? Alright, and what did we not use? Orange. I used to hate orange and pink together. And now I kind of like it. Because I'm old and I don't care what anybody says. It's great. Alright, what other color? Maybe yellow. It's just fun having your little palette here to finger paint with. Oh yes. I'm going to blend these a little bit too. Well, this is definitely cool stuff. All right. I think this might be it. Although let's try out. Let's just try the the uh metallic stuff. Oh, look at that. That is wild. I love that. What do you guys think? For those of you who don't like using your fingers, you can use a cosmetic sponge and dab it on. Just remember to dab on and off a piece of paper so you don't smoosh a lot under. Oh, look at that. Yeah, but you can wash your hands. <laughs> Just try it. Oh, see, I got stuff here. That was dumb. How did I do that? Oh well, we're gonna we're gonna fix that. I love this. All right, let's try. Uh, let's try the metallic over here, and I can't imagine how metallic would work. It's even better. All right, so this is champagne gold. Let's use a different stencil. I need to clean that. And my husband just walked in. Oh, let's do leaves. leaves. Alright, let's do this. And we might have a little bit of orange there, but I don't care. Alright, let's try the champagne gold. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to do this really light. Oh, rich. Oh, I just shifted it. Shoot. Oh, well. Well, we're just playing. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go upstairs and clean these. And I'm going to leave these here for now. And I'll lift up when I'm done. And where was that other one? Sterling Silver. Good luck matching up these covers. Yeah. Now, I want to see what happens because we mix some orange in there, which could be kind of cool. This seems thicker. Oh, this is modeling paste. Okay, good. Well, we can see the difference. And you can use your finger with this, too. It is thicker, though. You can tell. All right, so the stencil butter, if you want a light touch... Hmm. Well, I might just alternate. All right. Let's see. What other colors do we have? Um, this is that pearl white stencil butter. So let's do this. Look at how full that is. Man. All right. So this is going to be lighter. So guys, don't forget to um, follow TCW on Facebook. Take a look at their blogs, their blog posts. There's some really cool journals out there. So what's happened was I sent them, the team that is working with this, some journal covers, and they sent our team this these products. So we're both working with the same 
materials and creating whatever happens to come out. Let's do this copper penny modeling paste. Leaves, that's perfect. We're off the thing a little. I should have checked. Oh well. I'll just have to do it again. So if you have nails, this could be tricky. But just use this cosmetic sponge. Sorry guys, I hope this isn't um, boring, but it's just kind of fun to play. Okay. All right. Yeah, are you ready for the reveal? The modeling paints are thicker and work well with a palette knife, yeah. I could see that, but it's kind of cool like this too. All right, let's go guys. Oh! Look at that. All right, so what happened? That orange is, there's a tiny bit of it right there. Look at that. Yeah, that is, it is a perfect collaboration. Because you have to put your stuff on something, and we need stuff to put on our our journals, and, and it's perfect. I love that. I kind of wish I had that done that down my book. But you know what? I could take this other one, and do that, you know, going down the side. So, ugh, tons of ideas you guys can see. And look at how that dried. That is just so pretty. Ah, I love this stuff. All right, now I have to play match the covers. <laughs> All right, so Cheryl, did you share how they can find this, where they can find these products, and the link to the blog maybe, and that stuff. Oh, well, thanks guys for coming along and watching me paint with my fingers. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while, but it's very therapeutic. So I want to thank Crafters Workshop for uh, working with us. It's been a lot of fun today, especially since I finally could get my hands on it. I mean, we've been working, um, the team has been working with it on the blog, so go Back and look all through October we've been um, posting projects using their um, crafters workshop products so I have to clean this stuff so I am gonna head out guys but um, thanks for coming and keep an eye out on the blog and um, we'll just hang out and wait for the um, the uh, little post that's gonna have all of the things that are coming up because there's a lot Okay. Oh, thanks, Cheryl. Thank you for being there. And thanks, Taylor, for letting us know about the dyes. I think we're, we're in business. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Do, does anyone have any questions? Probably, hopefully, you asked Cheryl. <laughs> hey, Alice. They are. They are really beautiful products and would work amazingly with journals, especially on the black. Wow. I mean, that's amazing. It's kind of messy though just know that <laughs> and that's fine that's what we're here for all right well thanks for coming guys hi glum all right we will see you on thursday okay thanks everybody see you soon bye